I've always talked about the need for rope in a survival kit. Now most of the times when I'm in some sort of survival situation, I'm trying to make rope, I end up deconstructing a thicker rope down to a thinner rope. And the reason for that is I might need it to be thinner for a fishing line or for stitching or something like that. But often the opposite is true as well. I need to take something thin and make it thicker to make it stronger. Rope and tape. Two completely different items for my survival kit. But not always. The thing I like about tape is that when I need to put it into position and try to make something, it's sticky and it holds onto itself. So when I guess all I want to do is put it in place. What I'm really trying to do here is to make some rope. So often with tape, I don't want it to kind of stick to itself and catch itself, but in making some rope like this, that's just fine. I can tie this if I want, a standard kind of knot. And now, Good and strong. Just made myself a strong rope and it was that fast as well. If I really wanted to, I can take my time, work with it until it's smoother, tighter lines, twist it back on itself, use all kinds of twisting methods to make this a stronger rope and with all kinds of uses, really. So the tape becomes rope. I couldn't break that if I tried. Nope. That's strong. Excellent.